<clears throat> Hello, I'm Michael Richardson, and by request, this is an instructional video on how to play Fly, Fly Love by Jamie Foxx. So, I really appreciate the requests I get in the comments, and thank you very much for watching. I really enjoy doing the YouTube videos. If you can't tell, I love to play. So, uh, here we go. With Fly Love uh, by Jamie Foxx, it's from that uh, cute movie Rio with the animated birds. It's a really pretty song. And it starts off in a D. But it's a D, <laughs> forgive me, I'm not sure, but it's an easy D, a D7, I believe, where you just put your finger across those three strings right there. It's like a D, but you're dropping that one right there. So you got the open D, and then second fret, second fret, second fret. So you get a nice D sounding like that. Really easy to play. It's the first chord. Okay, second chord, E minor, which is open E, two, two, open, open, open. Probably no E minor. Third chord is a G minor, which you slide that up to there. It's got bar chords in this one, so you gotta practice your bar chords. The way I do it, you just finger across there, and you can bar all those, you know, and do whatever you need to with these. So it's pretty easy, you know, you make an E minor, just move that E minor up to there, bar it. So it's like an E minor barred up. Obviously, I kinda push, help push down with that one. So you got three, five, five, three, three, three. Kind of easy to hit it from going from that E minor. So if you play it like that, just kind of go like that. And then the next two chords walk down. So you're on the third fret here to walk down to the second. And it's a G7. I'm not sure what. <laughs> it's amateur lessons here. Okay. So bar. And the proper way to play it. All right, you bar across the second, and then you've got on the fourth fret there on the A string, and then take your pinky for the proper way to do it on the B string. You get the fifth, so you get this sound. See, it's hard to do. Huh? My hand started from holding it there. Okay, like that. And the next chord goes the whole thing down to the first. Let's make it an F. So, the easy way to do that, you got, all right, let's go back to E minor, up to the G minor, move it down one, and all you have to really worry about is that one right there. And it'll make us enough sound well enough. See, that's the easy way to do it. So, that you're looking at a bar across three, so all those three, and just that one right there. So, you got three, five, three, 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 three. So, to recap, it's not all, but recap. You got the D to the E minor. Move that up there. Then sharp. Down. F. Then back to E minor. Then A. And that's it. That's the whole chorus or the whole verse part. So <clears throat> the way the song starts off with the whistle. You can get that, play that chord to get the whistle in your head. And you can just listen to the song to learn that. It goes. <whistles> Alright, there, it's pretty. So, what you got there, the completed figure, you're looking at the D, G, and B strings, okay? So, the completed figure on the D, second fret, on the G, third fret on the B third fret. So it looks like that. Okay. But you're gonna start off just with that one right there. And the other two are struck open. So it would be the D on the second fret. And then the other two open. So it'd be D second fret, then G B. This is where you put the rest of the fingers down. So go. Alright, that's where you get that figure right there. Alright, so you got Two, open, open on that B. When you hit open, go ahead and hit the B again. That's when you put down the third fret. Then go back to the G with that other third fret down. Hope that makes sense to you. Go like this. It's just the way I, I remember it in my head. <clears throat> okay, so. Just like that, okay. And then. 
And now where the chords come in, jumps right in the middle of a chorus, or the verse, excuse me. So we got this, what I was just showing you, to that, to G minor, to the F sharp. That one right there is where you're gonna start after the whistle. It's gonna move down to that, to that, D minor, to A. The last four chords. So, Kind of, it's got a kind of a bossa nova strum pattern too. So, so it's like down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that last one, just kind of the way I play, I like to let off your random fingers, you know, just you'll learn what sounds good, you know, what works. So I'll let off that B on that one. Saw you looking at me, saw you. From under the leaves, through the palm trees, swing in the breeze. Here comes the chorus. Nice G chord. I know that I'm feeling so much more than ever before. Now that's the whole chorus right there. Three chords. G. I know that I'm feeling so much more. It's an E minor. To the verse. Don't know how it happened, don't know why, but you don't really need a reason. When the stars shine, just to fall in love. Made to love each other, made to be together for a lifetime. In the sunshine, flying. I kind of put that first part of that whistle in there just to fill it in. So you get to the E, then now I know love is real. Flying up to the sky, where angels drop, letting you and I fly. Ends right there on that chord we started on, the D. It's not a D7. D add nine. Forgive me for not knowing. I should have looked this up before I started the instructional video. But eh, you know, I play by ear, so I'm teaching you by ear, if that makes any sense. So that's the whole song, and I really appreciate you guys requesting things. And you know, it's a lot of fun me doing this, and I love putting out the videos and and getting the comments and all that. So, you know, keep watching and give me some thumbs up down there, and you know, leave me some comments, and I really appreciate it. So to recap. D, add nine, maybe. To E minor, G minor, F sharp. Either way, with that pinky or that it works. Slide it down one. To E minor, to A. All right. Now, before you play the song, you can play that right there. You can get that in your head, you know, where to start, and then you can just kind of bust out with it.